Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I made Daredevil's Billy Club. So one of the challenges that I had with this build was trying to figure out how exactly I was going to have a three-way billy club where it's this staff, where it comes apart like that nunchuck, and then it also comes apart as two pieces. I also have affiliate links down below if you need some of the tools or the materials that I use in this for this build here. What you will need for the basic outline of this build is two 3 4 inch PVC pipes, a male adapter, a female adapter, two half inch plugs, two couplers, and a cord. Okay, so I'm gonna try and explain this the best way I can. So we're gonna have one end of the PVC pipe connected with the male adapter here. What goes here is going to be the female adapter. But first what we need to do is grab this coupler right here and sand this down so then that way this plug goes in all the way here. And then we need to drill a hole through that so then that way we can have the cord going through there and this will stop there and we'll have this all glued down here because then that way we can have it come out and be the nunchuck piece then once this is all done we'll go ahead and sand this down on the inside and glue it all together so then that way it's one piece that way it can screw on to that side there then on the other side since we have this cord going through this part right here, we have another of another coupler that we need to have the plug go in the side of this here, which we're gonna sand down. Then we're gonna uh, drill another hole through here and have the rest of the cord go through here and it will hang out in the middle of the pipe right here. And we'll have a stopper in here so then that way when we pull it out this way, uh, it will actually stop in the plug right here. So that is the plan. Let's see how we can get this together. First, we start off by gluing the male adapter to one of the end of the PVC pipes and then test fit the other end. I grab both plugs and sand them both down. I also sanded down the inside of both couplers using my rotary tool. Once it fits, I glue the first plug into the coupler, and then I take my drill and make a small hole going through the plug. I just need it wide enough for the cable to go through. Then I decided to add this nut at the end of the cable to make sure it doesn't come undone. I tied a simple knot around it and used two part epoxy to really keep it in place. I made a test fit and we are good to continue. I needed to sand down the PVC details off, so I went to the belt sander and made it smooth. I then glued the middle piece to the female adapter. For the other side, I took the sanded coupler and the plug and glued them together in this orientation. Then I drilled another hole. I didn't want to glue the other coupler to the other side just yet because I needed to find out what size the clubs need to be. I decided on 14 inches for each side and cut them down to size. Now I can see how long I need to make the rest of the cable. I went to the length of the pipe and cut the cable. I fed the cable through the plug and attached the nut to the end. This will also be a weight to the cable so then that way it allows it to fall back into the pipe when I want to bring the pieces together. I glued the outside of the pipe and fed the cable through the pipe before gluing. Next I want to make the diamond texture for the clubs. I measured the length of the PVC pipe, not including the adapter, which was about 13 inches. Then I had to measure the width going around. For this I made a ruler out of 2mm foam and wrapped it around the pipe to get the width. I then traced out the measurements I got, 13 inches in length and about 3.5 inches wide. I cut out two sets of these rectangles, and for the texture I actually grabbed a screen mesh that I got at the hardware store and laid the pieces out in a diagonal orientation to have that diamond pattern. I roughly traced around the pieces, giving them about an extra half inch to be able to wrap around the foam pieces and to be able to have a clean side. I cut out the mesh and made sure I had enough material to wrap around. 
I then got some spray adhesive and sprayed only one side of the foam and the screen. That way we can sandwich the two pieces together. After piecing them together, I sprayed the back of the foam and cut the corners of the screen off. I folded the extra material inward on all sides. This way the sides look a bit cleaner and the screen doesn't scratch me with the edges. I next grabbed some masking tape and taped off the PVC adapters, but left the main pipe uncovered. I sprayed the pipes with the spray adhesive and began wrapping the detail around the handle. It took some time to work it into place, but eventually it stuck. I did put some super glue where the seam was just to reinforce the edges. This is the first time I used a window screen to get this kind of detail, and I will for sure use this material in future builds. Now I need to cap off the end of the pipes. I grabbed two different sizes of foam dowels. One was about half an inch and the other was about three fourths inch. I cut two half inch pieces from the smaller dowel and two quarter inch pieces from the bigger dowel. I super glued the small dowel and sprayed the accelerator on the bigger piece and glued them together. Near the bottom of the piece, I put some more super glue on the bottom part of the dowel and capped off the ends of the club. I got some Plasti Dip and sprayed three layers on the clubs. Then I sprayed the clubs with Montana Spray Paint Outline Silver. Once dried, I need to mask off the top and bottom of the clubs. We will be spraying what's not covered with the Montana Cardinal Red Spray. Looking good so far, but we're not done yet. I masked off the very top of the adapters so we can paint them black with the Liquitex Heavy Body Acrylic Paint. When put together, they look like one of the detail lines in the club. Speaking of detail lines, I need to make the other ones now. I took 6mm Tamiya masking tape and wrapped three sets of tape butting up against the black paint. Then I took the middle pieces of the tape off and now we have our sections to paint. But we also have three lines in the middle. I just saw I had this seam here, so I decided to make this one of the lines. So I wrapped the tape around that and butted together six pieces of tape all together, taking out every other tape and painting in the uncovered areas. After two coats and it was completely dry, I began peeling off the tape, revealing the lines we now have for the Billy Club. Now it's fully complete. Well, I'm really excited with how this turned out and I cannot wait for the new Daredevil series. Now, I know I've been making some hero props lately, but we are going to be diving into the world of video games next. And I'm gonna be showing you how I made the Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. And once that video goes live, I'm gonna go ahead and post it right here so you can click it now. Welcome to another episode. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I made Daredevil's Billy Club. Oh my God. 